The idea came from Mr. Boehner of Ohio, who is head of the Conservative Opportunities uh, Council. And he came to me uh, two weeks ago and he suggested that it might be good for the country and good for the Congress if we had a real clash of ideas and a real debate on some of the most important issues facing this country. I thought it was a great idea. I went back to the members of the Progressive Caucus. They thought it was a great idea. We're ready to go. What are you saying about what is going on right now on the floor of the House? Are you basically saying there's not much uh, debate going on? Yeah, well, Jim, when I'm, I'm very frustrated. I think most members of Congress are frustrated with how little the American people really know uh, as to what's going on in Congress or, in fact, are knowledgeable about the most important issues facing this country. The corporately owned mass media, in my view, does a horrendous job. We spend more time with violence and sensationalism and five-second sound bites rather than honest debate about the terrible crises facing this country. This country is undergoing major economic decline. Our people are becoming poorer. We're one of two nations in the industrialized world without a national health care system. We lead the world, the industrialized world, among poverty for our kids, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Where is the debate? How did this happen? Who owns America? We're not having that debate. So I think that having some people from the right and some of us who are progressives on the left really clash and talk about the future of America, talk about the problems facing this country, will give the American people an opportunity to hear serious debate. Uh, and I think that that's a, a real positive thing. Tell us specifically when this will happen. The first debate, uh, as I understand it, will be Wednesday, uh, November 3rd. Uh, and it will be on the uh, single-payer health care system. Uh, obviously, uh, I and Jim McDermott, who will be participating in that debate, believe that the Canadian single-payer system is the most cost-effective way to provide comprehensive universal health care to all Americans. I presume, I think without fear of contradiction, that our uh, conservative Republican friends will disagree, and there will be then a vigorous debate on the enormously important issue of national health care in this country. And the debate will take place within the format of special orders? Yeah, what we're going to do, and I think it's, it's the best thing to do, is to, in a sense, do it informally. All that has to happen is a member request an hour, and then that member then will give it over to a moderator who will conduct uh, the debate in an agreed-upon format with certain time for uh, each participant. You, of course, are the only independent in the U.S. Congress. And let me tell you something. The longer I'm here, the more and more proud I am of my state and myself for that achievement. Yes, I'm the only independent in the House. And you've lined up with uh, John Boehner, who some would describe as fairly conservative. John is a very conservative Republican. That's right. Another part of the equation over here, the Democratic leadership has been talking about what they are saying is Oxford-style debate. Uh, you, uh, what's your reaction to that? Uh, I don't think it makes a damn bit of difference, whether whatever it is. They've been talking about it and talking about it, and that's what goes on here for years. People talk about it. It's not that complicated. John proposed a, uh, an approach which I think is sensible. It's fair. You give proponents a certain amount of time, people uh, who are in opposition a certain amount of time, and you have the debate. Now, these guys have been talking about this forever, and I think what uh, I'm proud of is that John and I are moving this thing along uh, a lot more rapidly than uh, they were thinking about. Uh, would you see yourself part being able to participate in what they come up with later? Well, I'm not quite sure that the Democratic leadership would want me to defend their point of view. Uh, my point of view is a bit more progressive than the Democratic leadership. But I think uh, within the uh, Progressive Caucus, we have a number of very, very bright people who are concerned about the major issues facing this country. We went around the room and there'll be people pairing off on, on particular issues. I myself uh, feel very strongly about the need for a single-payer Canadian-style system. Obviously, Vermont borders Canada, so that's an issue that I have a familiarity with. Uh, Jim McDermott, of course, is the author of the major single-payer bill in the House, and Jim is a physician, very knowledgeable about the issue. So I think we'll be, uh, present our case well, and I'm sure the uh, Conservatives will do their best as well. Well, there's been a, a great deal of surprise because uh, most people wouldn't see Bernie Sanders and I coming to an agreement on anything. Uh, and, uh, and so there's been uh, the, your typical uh, uh, harassment by some members in a friendly way. Uh, but uh, most people have been very supportive of the idea uh, that there's been some concern over special orders that go on after a uh, regular session is over, uh, that maybe they should be limited. Others want to argue that, uh, that we should keep them. Uh, but what we want to do is to make special orders more meaningful. Uh, and that we think that bringing the debates to the, to the House floor can help do that. Uh, the moderator would be another member of Congress? Uh, there would be uh, an agreement between uh, their group and ours as to who the moderator would be and who the, the timekeeper would be. But we have to do it within the structure of the current special orders. And so that time is allotted to a member. And that member, in, in effect, would have to be the moderator. 
and yield time to each side uh, and, and organize the debate. Are we likely to see uh, many members sitting uh, in the chairs uh, watching the debate? I'm not sure that at first we're going to see uh, 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 a lot of people on the House floor during these. Uh, but we believe if they're successful, if they're done right, and if we have the right issues and the right members involved, that over the next uh, few months that uh, these uh, debates can grow and become uh, more of an event, hopefully on a weekly basis here in Congress. And one last question. It's no secret that the Democratic uh, leadership is uh, talking about uh, what they're calling Oxford-style debates on the floor of the House, possibly. Uh, what is your reaction, and how does this fit into that? Well, we looked at the possibility of, of a, other debate formats. Uh, the Lincoln-Douglas format is, is pretty well structured, uh, with a limited number of people on each side. Uh, and we think that within an hour, you can get to the heart of a question. Uh, with Oxford-style debates, uh, anybody sitting in the room is entitled to, to involve themselves in the debate. And uh, we think that that could get out of hand uh, it, it could be ra rather ruckus, and, and we're not sure that the question then can be fully explored, and that's the whole idea here. Can we fully explore uh, a question uh, in, a, in a specific amount of time? And so we settled on the Lincoln-Douglas style, uh, and it's going to be uh, incumbent upon us to structure questions uh, that are, are narrow enough yet broad enough to be discussed in our period of time. Congressman John Boehner, thank you. Thank you.